Hi, yeah. Um, I decided to make this video to raise awareness and to help people that might experience the same situation that I have. Um, at the moment, I'm attending the Manchester College. I'm a student of um, history and archaeology. I hope to study archaeology at the University of Manchester next year. Now, as part of what they do to help students, they give students a bus ticket which is valid from the, the start of the year, which is September. And for me, it was September the 20th. And it is valid until around the 14th of June. Now, if I needed a bus ticket every week, we would have been given a token, or we would have been given vouchers to buy new bus tickets each week. But we're given two tickets that covered this year and next year. Now the tickets look like scratch cards. Um, they scratched off the dates and then put the cover over. So I've be I began using them when I was at college. I've been using them for the last six weeks without any problems. Now twice now I've been had bad experience with your drivers who were convinced that the tickets are not valid even though they are. Now, one of them admitted that he was a new driver. He'd obviously not seen that ticket before. Maybe the first one was new as well. Today's episode, when we got back to Ashton, I was helping my mum with my shopping because I'm a carer. I went to the office in the bus station. I showed her the ticket and she said it was valid. She gave me a note to say that it was valid and she stamped it. I'll show you. This is the note. Oh, it's upside down. I apologise. That is the note that says it's valid. Now, the driver took the ticket off me so I can't use it. The college paid for it so it's them that, that stagecoach all the money to. I want the ticket back or they can pay the college for the ticket because it's not mine I didn't pay for it they did so taking it is theft not from me from college he was very patronizing he wouldn't let he wouldn't let me explain he was basically accusing me of lying and saying that I tried to get on the bus with a ticket that was out of date I wouldn't do that for two reasons one the main reason I was brought up better than that I was raised to know better and that you pay your way. And two, because like today, if it wasn't valid, I got caught. Why would I put myself through that embarrassment getting on a bus ticket that was invalid? That I'd be beyond stupid. And I'm not stupid for the most part. <clears throat> now the other passengers started piling in and throwing insults and he was being patronising calling me sweetheart and all that and now I hate that when people do that especially guys it's it's demeaning so I got my hair off I said a few things that I shouldn't done, shouldn't have done I apologised to the passengers but not to the driver he deserved it now the ticket I'll show you the ticket just bear with me a second I can find it. There we are. Mm. The ticket looks like this. Now, it does look very confusing, I admit. And uh, if you've never seen one before, which he obviously hadn't, it, I guess it's obvious to be it guess it's to be confused. Now, what he should have done, he's got a radio in his cab, he should have radioed the office and asked them if it was valid. They would have clarid, clarified it for him. I would have been able to get on the bus and wouldn't have embarrassed myself or my mother who was with me. I don't know why I let him get to me like I did. Anyway, <clears throat> I hope nobody out there experiences the same thing. But if you do, when you have a ticket like that, rest assured it is valid and don't let them tell you otherwise. Get as much proof as you can from your job, your college, university, wherever you get it from. 
and um, I don't want anybody else going through this. It's it was very it was wasn't very nice at all, and um, I still haven't really calmed down. I'm still on the ceiling. I'm still wound up um, to the point where I just want to punch things. Um, but not other people. I wouldn't take it out on other people. <clears throat> anyway, um, I think from now on, what I will do, all I'll need to do is take just one tram to college. I think I'll do that from now on. Um, but I'm going to prove at first that the ticket is valid. And I'm going to prove it to all stagecoach drivers if I do decide to get on the bus. Or I may get on the bus and say it is a valid ticket, just so you know. And then just get the tram anyways and just avoid the buses. They got what they wanted, they got the money that they wanted, the raise. Whether they deserve it or not, that's not the issue, that's not what I'm talking about. But the service is still ridiculous and the drivers don't. Well, some of the drivers don't know the job and they're giving the rest of them a bad name. Now, the majority of them are decent, hard-working people who, you know, it's, not, it's nice to travel with them. You, some of them are really, really friendly and you can have a laugh with them. And it's a good start to the day. Some of them are miserable, but, you know, they may have other things going on in their lives. Um, so I think from now on I'll be getting the tram to college. I'm only at college two days a week, so it's not going to be that expensive. I live in Ashton and the college is in Manchester. I think I'll do the same next year when I get to university to do my archaeology degree. Um, to end on a positive note, I'd like to ask a question. I've got some interest in ghost stories and I like to tell ghost stories. If anybody out there would be interested in me doing videos for ghost stories, I'll even dress up. Please leave a nice comment if you want to leave a comment. I would appreciate it if you'd be civil. Um, no insults or anything. But even if you, if you, but if you want to do that, knock yourself out. I've got some very, very good comebacks. Like I said to a girl who insulted me on the bus today, um, she was um, obviously a young girl in her late teens and twenties. I'm in my forties, by the way. And I just said to her, "Don't give me any grief, little girl." I was in a school uniform before you was even in liquid form. That gives you some idea. So, if you're interested in some ghosty wosty stories, let me know. Okay, right. <clears throat> I'm off scare. Um, my kitty cat wants me to play with him, so I will do that. And hopefully I will speak to you uh, lovely people soon. Thank you for your time and for your thank you for your time. Um, I'm not used to doing things like this, as you can probably guess. This is my first ever YouTube video, so I'll be nice. Um, and hope and maybe we'll see each other again soon. See ya.